Good afternoon, everyone. Till now, we have completed two chapters of our economic subject. Now we are going to start up with the third chapter, naming as a organization of data. Now, in the previous sessions, we have discussed the introduction part of our statistics. How the statistics is needed in economics. We have discussed it in the first chapter. Now, coming across second chapter, we came many of the concepts how we collect the data the various sources of data the modes of collection of data then we saw the census survey and uh, with this we ended with the collection of data now the next thing is already we have collected the data right from this chapter what we are going to do we are going to organize it Organize means what? What you are going to do? You are going to assemble it in a sequence format. Everything you have gathered the information. It requires to frame it in a proper way, right? So same thing we are going to do in the third chapter over here. Now we are going to organize the data what we have collected here. So here it is. Organization of data. See, let's see what all things we are going to see over here from this chapter now in this chapter what you are going to know organization of data the concepts which we are be going to discuss from this chapter are none other than the introduction part now what is this data we are going to see then most probably here you are going to see how we collect the data you know that same data how we organize it organization is assemble it in a proper way we use it how we use or utilize it is yes? how we use or utilize it that we are going to know from the introduction part then nextly the raw data what is this raw data till now whatever you have collected that is what raw data which is not organized unorganized data is called as raw data how it is the data whatever till now you have collected is unorganized it is not in a proper way the same data the information whatever is been collected by you that you are going to organize here assemble in a sequential form yes as per your uh, research you are going to organize it in a group or classes what we call here organization of data in a group or classes what we are going to know here then nextly classification of data how we classify the data now most probably few of the classifications are there like qualitative quantitative then uh, then few more four to five things are there chronology chronological classification then one more is geographical then qualitative and quantitative in this way we are going to classify the data over here then variables variables means what the items which keep on changing now in this you are going to see specifically continuous and discrete continuous means one two three in the continuous format discrete means one three five in this way you are going to discuss the variables about this what variables means and how the factors are being taken over here continuous or we, uh, this one discrete then nextly you are going to see the frequency distribution now the in this what is frequency distribution you are going to know in that frequency we are going to classify the data on the basis of quantitative or qualitative format we are going to classify and make we will be having the examples on that you will come to know how the frequency distribution is been made just like i will if i tell we are having a hundred students in our one class we have taken their results one of the subject like we have collected the marks of math subject and in that math subject hundred students how much marks they have got in the slide we have taken the example you will come to know exactly what it is but in that rule number one has taken 25 marks two has taken 98 marks three has taken 56 marks four number rule number four has taken only zero marks he has not written only zero marks he have taken now this kind of things the digits what we have seen over here is it organized one the raw data we have taken the information of 100 students 
or 50 students take 50 or 100 students then how we are going to organize it that we are going to learn from this chapter over here then in this in this we will be making some classes just like i am telling you the uh, marks from 50 students marks we have gathered from 0 to 100 now we are going to make the classes just like 0 to 10 then next 11 to 20 then 21 to 30 these are the classes or groups of marks in that how many students have taken 0 to 10 marks that we are going to make the distribution that is what frequency distribution we call over here then lastly bivariate frequency distribution one small part of it is there there we are going to see the same as usually the frequency distribution how we make there then lastly we will be concluding this chapter the most probably where you are going to have a uh, more time with where we spend over here is what in the frequency distribution we are going to spend more of the time remaining parts whatever are there the introduction the raw raw data then classification of data in two three sessions we will be completing over it this that part is very so uh, short one but before that we are going to have one of the example over here and see how practically we organize the data over here data just let's take one of the example over here and just discuss over here see can you see this kabadi wala the word kabadi what we call over here the waste materials where we sell who collects the things is known as kabadi person just like uh, many of the times they will be wandering in the villages in your area right that we call them as a kabadi wala what they do they collect newspapers plastics together and they bring it to their place that is what first part see all the material has been brought and thrown in the first image you can see there all the things materials have been brought and thrown at one place that is what their place then in that what he is going to do there in the image you can see oh no it's an alter shows means alter work it is lot of work it is having over there means all the material has been brought and thrown there then next in the next image you can see that it's manageable now all things what he has brought and thrown at one place what he did there he has done separation of it newspaper he has kept other one side then the boxes he has kept other side the fan which you can see there that he has kept other side then plastic bottles he has kept uh, other side this we call as a organization in this down i have written everything about that kabadi person what he does here see let's see have you ever observed a local junk dealer or kabadi to whom you sell the newspaper broken items then empty glass bottles plastic etc have you observed here many of the places we see that and nearby our college have you seen the Ganeshpur down when you uh, go down from your Lakshmi take Ganeshpur is there there everything the uh, this kind of things the um, kachara has been brought over and newspapers just like the plastic bottles they collect it then aluminium or uh, iron whatever they get on the road or any outside thrown one they collect it and bring to their places and what they do here what they do most probably over here they make them organize plastics other side they will keep glass bottles they keep other side then nextly in the newspaper they keep other side just what we do properly see when you are been taking newspaper in your home monthly that will be so much of newspaper will be stored what you are going to do about that newspaper are you going to have it it is no just you when you will be having the time sufficient time you will be reading over that when the things are been known the information whatever the news you wanted to uh, read you will read it and later on you will be throwing it then when the papers have been collected of one month two months, what do you do you will be selling for them to whom you sell that the kabadi person you will come visit to your home he will collect the papers and he goes away he will be paying you for it right on the basis of his weight 
of the papers he will be paying for you just like uh, five rupees or ten rupees kg the papers are been collected over right the same way even some of the time whatever the notes you will be having like first standard to 10 standard you have done now are you going to store all the papers or the notebooks or textbooks in your home only no what you are going to do most probably you are going to uh, drag it in one bag and throw it throw mean means most probably you sell it or give to the others as well some of the time when it is not used full for you then what you do you will sell for this to the kabadi person that is what the thing now we are talking about the organization over here that was a example whatever we discussed now here we are going to see here the kabadi person he collects the all the things just like the uh, items household items like broken household items then old newspapers then empty glasses what the things then plastics etc he purchases things from the from you and sell them to the recycle for whom he is going to sell that plastic has been recycled over here glass also glass bottles what we are having that also has been recycled and papers also whatever the newspaper are there notebooks are there even that is been used to recycle the papers you can recycle it okay some of the items are there which can be cannot be recycled but these are the items we can recycle it and use it again okay just like this then but with so much junk in his shop it would be very difficult from him to manage the his trade if he had not organized them properly to easy ease his situation he suitably groups or classifies various junk obviously what he does if he you see the first image left hand left side he has brought and thrown at one place he is it easy to manage him the things now what he is going to bring up from you whatever you sell the things for him he will be bringing up and throwing at one place means can he manage here no he has to classify the things like whatever he has brought the material like newspaper he has going to keep one side in other uh, uh, image you can see that he has kept one uh, bundles of newspaper side then boxes one side then fan broken fan as he has kept other side then plastic bottles glass bottles he has made separation right this is what arrangement he is arranging the things as per his uh, classification various things junks whatever has been there is classified as per his needs then he puts old newspaper together and ties them with a rope obviously the newspaper however they have been thrown he has tied up and kept aside in the slide you can see over there then uh, next then he collects the empty empty glasses bottles in a sack that is what one side he has made in the empty bottles he has the articles and the metal on one corner of his shop obviously the metal things iron whatever is there just like the fan and all he is going to keep aside and sort them in a group of iron like iron and copper aluminum brass etc whatever he has been collected iron things he has collected then copper if it is then aluminum whatever is there he is going to keep one one part aside at one place only if is gathering means he can't do any of the further work he can't even sell that for recycling right for that purpose what he is going to do over here is he is going to separate it and keep it separately by storing in his shop or any of the storehouse over here in such a way then further where we are huh? in this way the he groups his junk into different classes newspaper plastic glass metal etc and bring or bring order in them see in one of the sequential order he is going to arrange all the things that's just like how the organization has been done we are going to see from learn from this kabadi person this is the person he is showing us how to organize the things just like in the first image you saw that everything is brought and thrown at a one place only then later on how to manage this he thinks over there just like in the image you can see that he is thinking then nextly in the next image 
right hand side you can see that he has managed the things means all the newspaper is been wrapped in the bundles then plastics are kept aside then aluminum is kept aside what he has done he has organized in a sequential format as per his needs then next one once he junk is arranged and classified it becomes easier to him to find a particular item that he a buyer may demand see many of the things i will tell you the uh, iron if you visit where you know most probably old pb road there you can see one of the uh, this one one shop is there not one many of the shops are there the old material has been brought and thrown there if you require any of the things or materials you can buy in few less amount not more but few less amount you can purchase the things over there just like iron steel aluminum this part or uh, these items are been sold over at old pb road just like uh, beside the overbridge soon after the market where we will having the uh, vegetables market over there soon after proceeding forward old pb road bridge you will get bridge over there there you are going to see that person selling the old materials over there from this image and this uh, overall theoretical part what we have discussed you come to know exactly what organization means right assembling the things separately is what organization here you are easily from the image itself you will understand it what we are going to learn from here here whatever the information we have collected from the previous cha chapter that we are going to organize in this chapter so here even this kabadi person whatever he has grabbed whatever he has brought the best material he has organized in the well format as per his need at per as per whatever the things are been taken over that he is going to sell as per the buyer demands if you are storing in one place only he can't manage the things for his management purpose he is going to make the separation of all the things over here so in this way the things are taken then let's see yeah now what is this organization of data we are dealing with organization of data now what is this organization let's see it refers to the arrangement of figures now most probably we are not the kabadi person we are organizing all the thrown at west items no here we have collected the information the facts and figures we have collected that we are going to arrange over here arrangement it is nothing but it is a it refers to the arrangement of figures such as the comp such in a such a form that the comparison becomes easy we compare the things just like we will be having few further slides I, as i gave you all the example about the students information we are going to make the classes or groups of marks from 0 to 10 who how many, how many students have taken marks then from 11 to 20 how many students have taken class just like 50 students marks we have collected from the math subject now what we are going to do here we are going to classify it in a classes that is what in the frequency distribution that time you will come to know exactly what you are going to do over the over the organization means how you are going to organize the data in the frequency distribution you will come to know exactly what we do over here then here see organization means what we came to know what it is it refers to the arrangement of figures in such a form that comparison becomes easy to make the comparison it becomes easy and conclusions can be drawn now most probably as i am giving the example of this students now if we, if we are having the students 50 students data i have collected the marks of one of the subjects math subjects marks i have collected over here now what i am going to do how many students are have taken marks from 0 to 10 i am going to concentrate more on them what is my work i need to concentrate more on them them and make them to develop and come out of that and bring good marks at least passing marks just like 35 40 marks you should 
take in such a way we, i need to focus on more on them then 12, 11 to 20 even them then 21 to 30 i should make them from 0 to 30 marks or whoever i have taken i have failed now what i need to do is most probably i need to grab them up and take them forward and develop their skills i need to focus more on them whoever whoever i have passed whoever has taken marks more than 30 are been passed 35 40 they are passed after 35 we get pass okay then what i need to do i need to run the same things and try to develop score them out of four marks this is what most probably i can do here so next even we are using classification classification word every time let's see what is classification over here then see classification it is the process of arranging things in group obviously we are going to classify the things means what to cl- classes we are uh, going to make here the classes means the classification we are going to make over here what it is is a process of arranging things in group group or classes what it is we are going to make the groups or classes in classes what we are going to see just like i told you what i told you now marks we are having 0 to 100 marks like the, now the classes i am doing means 0 to 10 who, how many students are taken marks then 11 to 20 then 21 to 30 how many students i have taken marks just like 50 students marks i have collected in the next slide you will come to know just i am uh, rough work i am doing over here so in this you can see that this is what classes i have made proper what it is told here process of arranging things in group or classes according to the re resemblance and in affinities as per their requirement the classification how it is been required the wordings are been bit complicated you may not get uh, very easily understand you may not understand the uh, this one things resemblance or the affinities just you go through that uh, meaning i will tell you what as per your requirement you are arranging this as per your requirement you are arranging this in a chronological order you can say or in or down one more uh, definition i have given there in that some criteria as per your requirement we can say criteria means what as per your requirement very easy word as per your requirement you can classify this in the classes or group that you can see over here in the next slide we will come to know what exactly it means then classification one more definition classification is arranging or organizing we are arranging it or organizing things into groups or classes based on some criteria now what is our ca- criteria what is our need here i need to know from 0 to 10 how many students have taken the marks in math subject yes that is my criteria then next one is 11 to 20 how many students have taken how much marks they have taken in the frequency distribution we are going to solve the uh, some of the problems on that that is what in the frequency distribution we are having is the sum sums we are going to organize in the classes okay in these are the classes class intervals we can call them okay in this further sessions we will be discussing it now what we are going to know and what we are going to understand is this things what is organization we came across then classification classification is arranging or organizing things into group or classes the group we are going to make the group or classes most probably here we are making classes let's see for the many of the things will coming on this classes based on some criteria i need to know the marks of students who has taken in this classes 0 to 10 10 to 10. that is what my criteria i am doing to see here then next introduction part over that was the introduction in introduction we saw how the organization of data has been done right 
as per the criteria classification we make over there now let's see what is raw data what is raw data in the slides you can easily read and say that it is unclassified <coughs> unclassified data is raw data in one sentence one line only you can define it unclassified data is called raw data one more raw data is a data that has not been proceeded for use which is not proceeded what just you have collected right here you have <coughs> not proceeded it for using <coughs> that is what we say over here it is un in simple terms unclassified data is a raw data yes it is not classified when you classify it you will be using for some purpose even in the first line you can see after the raw data heading it has been told over that raw data is a data that has not been proceeded it is not process processed most probably it is not processed to for use for using that data it is not processed in any of the way or group or classes it is not processed that is what we call here as a raw data now let, as i was giving all the example here we are having one of the example let's see what it is here in this suppose you want to know the performance of the students in mathematics subject yes i want to know the performance of the students in the mathematics subject what i can do you have collected data of marks in stud uh, in maths of 100 students that is what 100 students i have mentioned here 50 students i can mention here 100 students right of 100 students have collected the data here you can see in the slide don't concentrate on board see in the slide you can see that 100 students data have collected from 100 students of your school that is what our school 100 students data have taken over here if you present them in a table they may appear something like this now 100 students data have collected the first student has taken in the table format i have gather the information first student 47 second 45 then third student 10 then fourth student 60 in same way till the 100 students 100 student the 100 person the student has taken 25 marks now this is what the data what i have collected this is raw data this is this is not assembled yes for this if i want to assemble it what i have to do i need to arrange it in the classes or groups i need to make them in the groups now most probably this kind of figures if you are facing here we can say not the processing uh, in the group but you can make the class intervals this is are the class format just like from 0 to 10 just like the highest how much it is 100 100 out of 100 he has taken then any of the person has taken zero mark over here in the first line only you can say see there eighth person has taken 100 marks 100 out of 100 any person has taken zero marks over here check it out in the slide yes here eighth line eighth line seventh one after 80 beside that zero mark one of the student has taken zero mark that is what lowest class lower cl lowest is zero then highest is 100 remember this lowest value and uh, highest value why because we are going to use it further in the classification low lowest value and highest value lowest value is zero and highest value is 100 whatever now what we are going to see from this marks of mathematics obtained by 100 students in an examination in one of the examination we are, we have seen this many out of that 100 marks students this many marks they have taken from 1 to 100 students they have taken in the taken this many marks then what which is the highest value here 100 out of 100 one only one student has taken then which is the lowest value here zero 
that is only one student has taken zero value now we are going to form the classes for this this is what classes we have formed here and we are going to see here in this classes what we are going to see from class interval 0 to 10 how many students are taken just like check it out how many students have taken 0 to 10 first line 10 1 and Two. Only two students are there from class interval 0 to 10. Only two students are there. One has taken 0 and one has taken 10. Means this in the first category of class interval, how many? Only two. Number of students are two. One has taken 0 mark, one has taken 10 marks. Then next class interval, if you see, from 10, 11 to 20, who, how many are there? You can see, just like this, we are going to make the frequency distribution. Just I am highlighting this part. There is no need to highlight this, but we are going to go in detail in future sessions. Now, our concentration should be there only on the data collection part. What I have collected the data of the 100 students in the examination of math subject this is what the raw data which is not organized is it organized one no this is not organized it is unclassified data unclassified data is what what we call for unclassified data unclassified data is a raw data that's it this is what the second part means the second main important part what we are dealing over here is raw data just by seeing this even one of the another one we can have one of the another example over here but from this the things what you have come across you can understand over here let's see one more part one more thing see one got over now second one one more we have collected the data what it is you or you could have collected data of the monthly expenditure of uh, on food of 50 households in your neighborhood to know the average expenditure on food now most probably 50 families households we are going we have collected the data on the expenditure on the food food means daily what you eat right on that what you are making the expenditure it depends on the number of people in the members in your home now how many members you are there in a home just like five members are there most probably the food required for you is minimum at least five thousand or two thousand three thousand right it depends on the members of your family now here we have collected the 50 households means 50 families expenditure on food the data which has been collected on the expenditure of the food of the 50 families yeah then the data collected in that case you can present as present as a table it has been presented in a table would be uh, resembled table number this is what table number 3.2 you can see here then one and two raw and raw that is what raw unclassified data this is unclassified data the first family you can see over here in the first family they are making the expenditure like 1904 rupees then in second family you can see 1559 rupees that much expenditure they are doing now from this what you understand here what is raw data the raw data which is unclassified or which is not processed for use processed for use we call here as a unclassified data now when we come to this part we will be having the next part which is we call here as a classification of data now for today's session we are going to stop till here only